With me, I'm a prophet. I was treating a lot of people. And by that time, when Museveni took over, they found that I'm colorless. Like when I'm. And I met the government. By the time I prophet, the spirit prophet to them that if they go in Gulu, Kitgum, Old Vaya, Northern, and West Nile, they will find no war. 1985, Alice Awuma was running a business in Opit, in Gulu, selling fish and flour. But life changed after she was possessed by the spirit of Lakwena, as Auma's youngest brother recalls. And at that moment, she immediately went to work to my son for where she stayed there for 40 days in the water. Then later she came back, she started eating people, and casting demons, and doing a lot of uh, miracles. The spirit came and, and lit her up, and later she came with the, with the Bible. A lot of people saw this miracle, and they asked, what is happening? They say that you wait for her at midnight. Some people got her healing touch. The first miracle, even me personally, because me, I was not even able to talk, but at the moment I can speak well. The second miracle I was having my sister, who is also a deaf, she cannot hear, but she worked on her and she is even here well at the moment. The spirit gave her a directive to create an army that would stop the chaos and bloodshed that was going on in Acholi. At that time, remnant soldiers of the former government had reorganized themselves to form the Uganda People's Democratic Army and were fighting with Yoweri Museveni's National Resistance Army. The other directive was to take over the capital, Kampala. In 1987, Auma, still under the spell of Lakwena, led the Holy Spirit movement, an army of about 10,000 fighters out of Acholi, and they marched towards Kampala. Face to face with the enemy, the bullets did not bounce off their bodies as Lakwena had promised, nor did the stones explode into grenades after throwing them. She was defeated at Magamaga in November of 1987 on the Jinja Iganga Highway. <laughs>